a blistering heat wave is sweeping across the East Coast and Midwest today, triggering extreme heat warnings as residents are warned to stay indoors to avoid the record-breaking temperatures. New York is predicted to hit highs between 91 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit today, although the real field temperatures will be more like a sweltering 106. The last time the mercury hit 95 on this date was in 1929. Washington, D.C. is also set to break records, with predicted highs between 96 and 100 degrees today. The record high for today was at Reagan National Airport in 1944, when temperatures hit a blistering 97 degrees. It'll feel like the heart of summer, AccuWeather senior meteorologist John Fierick told the New York Post. It'll even be steamy at night. The soaring temperatures have triggered excessive heat warnings across New York, as well as parts of Pennsylvania, Virginia, Massachusetts, and Connecticut. The heat advisories will be in effect from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Monday. Share this article Share New York State's Health Department and Department of Environmental Conservation also issued an air pollution alert over the city, in place from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. on Monday, as the rising temperatures can mean poorer air quality. Con Edison said it's prepared for any power outages caused by mass AC use and urged people to set their air conditioners to the highest comfortable temperature. Extreme heat can cause illness and death among its risk populations who cannot stay cool, and weather experts have warned New Yorkers to stay inside to avoid extended heat exposure. Governor Andrew M. Cuomo urged New Yorkers to take precautions against heat-related illnesses and limit strenuous outdoor physical activity. With prolonged heat and humidity in the forecast, I urge New Yorkers to take necessary steps to stay cool, Cuomo said. As temperatures continue to rise, I encourage everyone to check on your friends and neighbors who may need some extra help and to cool off at state parks, pools and cooling centers. Dot schools will close at 12.45. Because of excessive heat. There will be no after-school programs or Casper, the Jersey City School District said on Twitter. Temperatures are expected to climb above 90 degrees in New Jersey as well. A front will drop in from the north on Monday afternoon, potentially producing thunderstorms with gusty winds, hail and heavy rain. Monday's hot temperatures will also impact multiple school districts in Massachusetts. There will be no classes for Lowell Public Schools and McAuliffe Elementary School warned parents earlier that classes could be affected due to the facility not having air conditioning. The district has been battling building problems this year, along with gas leaks and heating problems, NECN. Students in Haverhill, Holyoke, and Lawrence, Massachusetts, will have early dismissals on Monday. Temperatures are expected to go back to normal after a morning rain shower on Tuesday. By Wednesday, New Yorkers will be experiencing weather in the low 80s. The potentially deadly heat wave has also wreaked havoc on the Midwest when temperatures reached into the high 90s over the weekend. In Chicago on Sunday, temperatures reached the high 90s approaching, if not surpassing the hottest June 17 on record in 1957 at 96 degrees Fahrenheit. Thousands of New Yorkers chose to escape the heat over the weekend by flocking to Coney Island and Rockaway beaches on Saturday and Sunday.